Hey guys, this is a little jazz hand for you. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk about tempeh. Yes, tempeh, I know it sounds like some crazy hippie shit, and it kind of is. If you are a vegetarian and you don't eat meat, you might have had tempeh before, or at least heard of it. I know that I never cooked with tempeh or had it before I was interested in the vegan lifestyle, so don't panic if you aren't vegan or vegetarian and you have no idea what I'm talking about and you're a little freaked out right now. Tempeh is basically fermented soybeans that are really tightly packed together and there is a ton of protein in it and it's made by the natural culturing and fermentation process of soybeans, originally from Indonesia. So it looks a little bit freaky when you look at it and you have no idea what it is and it's a little off-putting, but it's really good. I put it on tacos before, I've made just sandwiches with it, I put it on salads. There's a ton of different things that you can do with tempeh. And just like tofu, it kind of takes the flavor of whatever you flavor it with. So it's kind of what you make of it. And today, I am making tempeh bacon. So, Obviously, this is not real bacon, but the flavor of bacon is there and it's really, really good. I'm gonna crisp it up in a pan, so I'm gonna make it as close to bacon as I can get the first recipe I made with tempeh. I was a little freaked out because it, it looks weird. It looks so scary, but I promise you it is delicious and it's a great source of protein. Um, it's low in fat. There's tons of fiber in it. There's lots of vitamins and it's really good for you. I hope you give tempeh a chance. If you're not into any of this stuff, I completely understand because I wasn't either. But now I like to experiment with stuff like this a lot and I've been having a lot of fun doing it. And it's actually surprising how good some of this stuff is. And tempeh is one of those things. Um, that vegetarians and vegans eat that normal carnivores and omnivores don't really know about and they're not exposed to. So if you are feeling adventurous and you want to give it a try, please do. I really encourage you to do that because it's really good, especially this recipe. If you're a fan of bacon but you're not a fan of love handles or um, high cholesterol, then give this one a chance. Like I said, don't expect bacon, but it is as close as you can get to the real thing. Thanks again for watching this week. I hope you enjoyed this bacon tempeh tutorial and I hope you tried it at home. If you do, let me know, snap a pic and tag me in it and just give tempeh a chance. Just give it a chance. It needs love too. They look like the long fingernails off some old Indian man that you met at a, I, I'm getting racist, I'm sorry.